I'm Aubrey Shepard again, and I want to share a few more photos from World Peace Wetland Prairie and maybe a couple from Pinnacle Wet Prairie as we approach the 18th of April and Earth Day. So let's go straight to the photos. Okay, that's a, a shot of the mixture of plants you have on both Pinnacle Prairie to the west of World Peace Wetland Prairie and on World Peace Wetland Prairie itself. There's the uh, a wonderful white native species with a big old bug on it. I mainly, I guess, thought the bug was cool. And most people don't see those unless they have certain plants in their garden that would attract them. So that, that's a species that loves that uh, particular species of flower. And when I say loves, in many cases, every native wild plant supports some insect that also helps to uh, pollinate it and lives off its uh, foliage. There's a, a wonderful red uh, dragonfly and now you see a poster telling you that World Peace Wetland Prairie is at 1121 South Duncan Avenue and that Earth Day is coming this weekend. That's a painted lady butterfly on a cone flower and that's not this year's of course because when you go to World Peace Wetland Prairie this weekend you won't see all these things in bloom yet. There are butterflies, and that painted lady butterfly is one that shows up early and, like the monarch, uh, stays late. And there's a monarch on a, <coughs> actually, I'm not sure if that's a native species, but it's a, certainly naturalized. It's all over the prairies and all over yards. There's a bumblebee pausing on another na non-native flower on the front of World Peace Wetland Prairie. And there is a, um, let's see, pipe vine swallowtail. And there is a gulf fritillary, I believe. And it's on a, a very, very beautiful native plant. Two species of that in, in World Peace Wilton Prairie that I can identify. You know what that is? It's something that your daddy said, wait till they get soft before you bite into. That I selected because in that little bit of flow area back there, there was not only that beautiful dragonfly, but there was a tadpole that was close to getting its legs. I'm not sure what that is. The flower looks, at, I guess maybe I never got back to find that and photograph it later in the growing season, but it could be a milkweed. This is a, a monarch butterfly and it's on ironweed. There's a um, another beautiful flower that uh, you will see later in the growing season at World Peace Wetland Prairie. That's a button bush. That one, that flower, that button uh, was a beautiful bright flower and I don't know that I have one in this series of photos. You see that crawfish? That's a Ozark burrowing crawfish and she is carrying her babies on her belly, on the back and tail. And this, if you pick them up that way, gently put them down. I took that picture and then put it down as gently as possible so she can go on about her business. Some more of the wildflowers you'll see uh, in the growing season at World Peace Wetland Prairie and Pinnacle Prairie. And anywhere you can find a, a an old pasture that has been allowed to grow up, you may find some of these native things, such as this beautiful grass in the summer. And uh, those are, it's got tiny, tiny flowers. Grass flowers are usually small, relatively small, compared to uh, what you have on Forbes. Anyway, this is um, a different grasshopper. I, I uh, love to get them. That's a grasshopper. He's on a very beautiful, pink flower that grows on World Peace Wetland Prairie and nearby Pinnacle Prairie. And, and you won't see them this week on the 18th, but you'll see them later. Now that grasshopper is actually eating another insect. Did you know they do that? And he is gobbling that thing up. He's got it entrapped. That's Blazing Star, Liatris, and it's on World Peace Wetland Prairie. And, and uh, one of the places you might see them is, if you see an old ro railroad, uh, right away that's grown up, uh, a lot of that kind of, all these flowers. That's Rattlesnake Master with another beautiful butterfly. And here's a skipper 
a skipper is a moth that you see during the day, and uh, it uh, is is a delightful thing. That shows you how tiny some of these flowers I photograph <laughs> close up really are, because if I showed you the close up, you just see really close up version. It's a monster size. Now that. Uh, that is not a monarch. You see that stripe that runs over just above his tail? That is the, not the admirable, admiral, but the other, uh, I'm sorry, other uh, butterfly that looks like a monarch and it eats uh, vegetation of willow trees. And that's why it uh, looks like a monarch maybe to get some benefits that being a monarch has. It's not poisonous like a monarch to birds, but it, uh, well, that's a rare flower in World, World Peace Wetland Prairie and Pinnacle Prairie area. And it's really uh, something I have not gotten identified by the state uh, botanist yet. I hope to find out. I may stumble across it in a book or online. Till next time, this is Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. Hope you went to Earth Day at World Peace Wetland Prairie, and I hope to see you at World Peace Wetland Prairie later in the year when all these things are in bloom.